it's all a bit different for Constance this year. She's in a different setting. She's um, away from her usual little house, looking after Bonnestieu, and she's now confidant of Queenie, which means I get to go to all these beautiful locations, which I didn't get to go to last year. That job was suggested to the Queen by D'Artagnan that it should be Constance, which she's a bit unhappy about at first because she feels like he's interfering and it will make things, her relationship worse with her husband. But, you know, she comes round to the idea very quickly. <laughs> I get to wear prettier costumes and it's a great opportunity for her. But, you know, all the, all the ups and downs that she had to go through in series one are still here. I'm assuming she gets some sort of, she doesn't have to pay for her own cloth here because she has to look nice for her job. It's like being given a uniform in a way. She can't rock up in her old gear to serve the queen. She's a seamstress. She knows about fabrics and clothes. And I also think that she makes the queen's dresses as well because in episode six, the queen also has little sleeves which are a bit of a rip-off of mine, but I'm assuming that she's... Queen's gone, oh, I like that. Make me some of those. All right. Her relationship with D'Artagnan is still bubbling. Obviously, they're in love with each other, but they can't be together. Their relationship is a bit off at the beginning because, obviously, she's told him that she can't be with him. He's obviously a bit sore about that. He gets her this job in the palace. She thinks he's interfering, but you know, it works out that they can see each other more and their relationship starts to grow again. Constance realises that it's silly, of course. She loves him, she doesn't care what the consequences are. Episode six, she, she admits that and they have a reunion. But as of, as of episode six, I don't know what happens. I'm sure it will go downhill because it always is for them because I feel like they're a little bit cursed. So we've shot a season and a half now, which is a bit scary. It's gone very quickly. I think what I love the most about her is her, her bravery and her willingness to kind of stand up to what she believes is right and not what society believes is right and she has such passion and she's a lot braver than I am and she's ballsy and she's got guts and but she's so vulnerable as well she's extremely intelligent and not given credit for that I don't think half the time I love her layers to her, her character